The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be conducting a performance evaluation on the new Ocean Alexander 90R. This 90-foot yacht is an elegant modern design that Ocean Alexander terms revolutionary, hence the 90R designation. And it's the start of a new revolution line by the company. The 90R with optional open or closed skybridge was conceived for owners entertaining in all seasons and who want to make serious passages. Let's start our performance evaluation by heading to the bridge. As we ascend the stairs from the main salon, we enter by the navigational bridge console. This has the sophistication and efficiency of a ship. The helm centers on a leather-wrapped 26-inch destroyer-style wheel which controls the hydraulic steering. It has a 5-inch ridgy compass in line which is flanked with the MTU engine displays. The top of the line stid-powered helm chairs face the helm console. They're electrically actuated for high-low, fore and aft. The captain's has controls for the forward displays on the armrest. Three 24-inch Garmin displays are on a raised panel. Helm instrumentation is recessed in the controls countertop, however, I'd like to see it angled up for better visibility. The throttles have 55 horsepower bow and 40 horsepower stern thruster controls to the right. An octuplex touchscreen with N2K View Safety and Security Package monitors all the engine and electrical systems in the boat, including security, which monitors whether doors are open, along with several cameras placed around the boat, including the engine room, which can all be displayed on the Garmin screens. Watertight side doors let us view the entire length of the boat as we prepare to get underway, and a wired remote allows controllability from either side. From the main deck aft, an external entry on the port side deck leads down a stairwell to the crew's quarters, which are aft of the engine room. The curved stairs lead into a crew lounge. It includes a dinette and table, with TV on the opposite bulkhead. There's a small galley with microwave, ceramic cooktop, sink, and refrigerator. In addition to the lounge, there are two cabins captain's cabin, and a crew space with Pullman-style bunks. An additional octoplex monitoring system in the galley allows the crew to check the status remotely. There's a shared crewed head. From the crew lounge, there's access forward into the engine room. There's also secondary access from the crew quarters by the laundry aft into the beach club and swim platform beyond. A yacht of this caliber would be expected to have a spotless engine room and the Ocean Alexander 90R doesn't disappoint. A gleaming diamond plate walkway separates the twin 2,000 horsepower MTU 12 V2000 diesel engines installed on stainless steel mounts. The walkway is 32 inches wide with 37 inch high railings providing a handhold between the engines. The overhead is 6 feet 8 inches off the walkway. Immediately on the left upon entering are switching controls for the gensets, battery switches and main breaker panel. Ocean Alexander uses automated computerized Delta T intake exhaust fans with variable frequency drives to push and pull air through the machinery spaces. Ducks have water separators and fire dampers installed with manual and automatic triggering systems. Adjustable and reversible Delta T fans for the engine exhausts are installed in the superstructure ahead of the hull sides. This maximizes protection against water penetration to the motors and minimizes salt spray into the engine room. The generators are Kohler 55KW units installed outboard on vibration dampening mounts. There's enough space to get around the engines to the gensets. Fuel capacity of the 90R is 3,000 gallons. There are sight gauges on the twin tanks, which are made from 4.5mm thick 5052 aluminum. Raycor fuel water separators with Y valves are easily accessible and there's also a Gulf Coast fuel polishing system. The dual MTU fuel filters have remote readouts for filter performance. To both sides of the aft deck, there are bits and warping winches for tying up. Line storage is just behind. Foot control switches are at the deck. 22-inch wide covered side decks lead from the aft deck forward to the side doors into the salon or up another set of stairs to the bridge deck. A 12-inch pull-up cleat sits atop the 14-inch high bulwark. The railing height is 33 inches off the deck. Five steps down from the bow lounging area to the foredeck, bring us to the dual Maxwell windlasses for the anchors and bits for making fast. A hatch in the deck leads to a chain locker and storage below. Local switches are alongside and additional controls are at the helm. A peek over the bulwark forward gives us a view of the bulbous bow that will add to the performance. As we prepare to get underway, in a boat this large, it's nice to have cameras to see when lines are let go aft. The elevated helm deck offers good sight lines for pulling out. 
With a slight kick ahead on the throttles, it's mostly thrusters needed in this tight spot. Once we get our momentum, it's just controlling that drift with the thrusters to guide us out. The Ocean Alexander 90R has a length overall of 90 feet 2 inches, a beam of 22 feet 5 inches, and a draft of 5 feet 10 inches. With an empty weight of 206,800 pounds, a full 3,000 gallons of fuel, and 337.5 gallons of water, we had an estimated test weight of 228,475 pounds. With the twin MTU diesels turning 50 by 42 inch four bladed props and run up to 2450 RPM, our speed topped out at 22.2 knots. The bulb in the bow essentially created a longer hull length that adds to her efficiency. Dial back to 2000 RPM and 16.2 knots, we measured our best economic cruise with a 119 gallon per hour fuel burn that translated into 0.1 nautical miles per gallon and a range of 367 nautical miles, while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 3,000 gallon total fuel capacity. Noise levels on the bridge were only 67 decibels at idle, and barely rose to 68 decibels at cruise speed of 2,000 RPM, and remained at that level at wide open throttle of 2,450 RPM. The Ocean Alexander is a semi-displacement hull, and we measured a minimum planing speed at 2,000 RPM and 16.2 knots. We had a 10 to 15 knot breeze kicking up a two foot sea. There's a little lag on the steering and two indicators give an indication of the helm command and then the rudder response. Keep this in mind as there are no quick maneuvers, nor should there be. Her gentle ride exemplifies the luxury the guests expect. The head sea is blasted out to the sides providing a nice dry ride. With the following sea there's no wandering around whatsoever. With a hard overturn at 15 knots it took 35 seconds to come through 180 degrees and two to two and a half boat lengths to do it. She has fingertip steering and stays fairly level throughout the turns. Basically everything about her handling says comfort. As we're coming back in, notice the bow design with its hard shine for casting the spray aside. Using a remote from the wing of the bridge, I was able to back her down a narrow fairway and get her alongside without a hitch. The Ocean Alexander 90R is a yacht capable of cruising comfortably and in style. She's at that size where a full-time captain and crew may be needed, but a skilled owner-operator certainly could manage her with a crew for handling lines and maintenance. She's also remarkably well designed for guests both overnighting and being entertained, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, this is my sea trial and performance evaluation of the Ocean Alexander 90R. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.